Here we are. This is lesson two of drawing a Jaguar C-type. And what I did was, off camera, I did a lot of work underneath the car so you didn't have to watch the boring part. But uh, I put in a, a light a shadow underneath the car. And what I'm doing here is putting the darker shadow in underneath the wheel well in the rear. And just a minute, you'll see me. I've already done the front one, as you can see. It really makes a big difference, too, because uh, against the tire, that gives you a wide uh, a wide range of, of values. So, um, And also, there are two different kinds of shadow underneath the car. One is the one directly below it, which is very dark. And then the other one is from, it's kind of scattered from the ambient light and the reflection. So uh, there's a dark one immediately under the car, and then on, toward the outside, there's another shadow cast by the sun, but it's a little bit lighter. And also there's a framework underneath the car that has some holes in it. So I left those just for some visual interest uh, because I thought they were intriguing enough in the photograph to leave them alone. But uh, it's coming along good so far. Um, tomorrow uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll work on more of the body. And uh, all I did, all I was able to do today was to put a little bit of uh, darkness in the body, but uh, it's going to be quite a bit more tomorrow. The lower edge down near the shadow and down near the lower ed part of the tires is uh, really dark. And this is a British racing green car, so it's, it's almost black. It's, it's pretty dark. And uh, what I'm doing here what I'm going to do here is take that lower part of the body and, and basically almost blend it into the shadow underneath it. And uh, then we'll have three different colors. We'll have a fairly dark shadow up on top, a lighter green color in the middle, and then the very dark underneath. Between the three of those, uh, then I'll also have the uh, white number dot that's on the door, and uh, that will give us something to work against for uh, values too. And that's kind of one of the reasons I picked this car because the color values and because of the fact that it does have that number down on the door, uh, the white is going to be basically left alone. And by doing that, what it's going to do is allow me to uh, use some very, very different uh, tonal values right next to one another. The black on one side and then or the white rather on one side and, and the dark not quite black on the other but it's an extremely deep gray and uh, then they're also around the front of the car there's going to be a, a dark band around the bottom side of the, of the front end too okay it's coming along now there we are we're started on the body And you can see that this is not totally dark yet. It will be darker than this when I work on the rest of the body. But but this is just a start. I'm, again, like, like I always say, I, I'd rather not get it too dark so that I have to make this into a black car. I mean, it would look good in black, but that's not what the photograph is. And, and in black, it wouldn't allow me to do some of the things that the green will. By having the green uh, not quite as dark, it gives me more chances to play around with the values of the shadows and, and the highlights on the car. If I have a, a truly black car, then all I have is just a couple highlights, and, and usually I can't get uh, a difference over much of the car. This one I'm going to be able to do a lot because being as it is green, it, it shows uh, very subtle color changes between one area and another, whereas the black is just black and the highlight here and there. Okay, working more toward the front. Yeah, come along fine. Uh, uh, the part that I didn't do up there in the door is the is the number dot and uh, actually just in front of the door. And uh, so that's going to still have to be worked on tomorrow. But again, I don't want to get it too dark, so I'm, I'm making sure that I'm fairly conservative with what value I'm leaving on it. Uh, but 
it uh, it's coming along fine. I'm going to do uh, some work over on the other side. There's a, a big uh, shadow over on the top, and that, that's going to really look good too. So with the dark on one side and the dark on top on the other side, it's going to make it look uh, very interesting. And, and the values between the two will be kind of squeezed between the two values, which is really great. Anyway, come along fine. Uh, come on back tomorrow, and uh, we'll do a lot more work on the body and, and get down to the... Uh, to the grill and to some of the highlights on there. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. Bye.